Hi guys. Um, I'd just like to talk a little bit about Christmas and dementia. And um, dementia at Christmas, really. Um, is dementia any different at Christmas or is it the same all the year round? I think the illness itself is the same all the year round. And as we know, it's, uh, you get progressively worse. But at Christmas time, I think it just needs that little bit more, more thinking about it. And especially when you are with somebody with dementia, or you're around people with dementia. I think early stages and mid stages, like myself, I'm very, very happy to, to welcome friends and welcome relatives and lots and lots of grandchildren, which I have. Maybe a little bit down the, further down the line when I start to forget who's who and who's what. That's if I ever do because I have Lewy bodies and um, there's always a good chance that I won't actually go through that, fingers crossed. But I think that um, it can be hard sometimes when somebody's sat there with dementia and all these strangers are coming in and they're not quite sure who they are. And even though people go up and say, hi, dad, or hi, granddad, it must be very, very frightful. It must be very, very worrying for them when they're stood there thinking, I, or sat there thinking, all these people coming up, they don't know me. They know me, rather, yet I don't know them. And what must go through people's minds when that happens? So I think it's slowly, slowly, really. I think that when you're introducing people to others that have dementia that are in the stage that are really forgetting who people are. I think probably less is more, uh, in my humble opinion. And I think to take it easy with them and explain who they are and to sit with them and try and remind them gently. It's a different case when it comes to people who's in later stages because speaking from experience, um, we have a friend who's in late stages and uh, is bedridden most of the time. He doesn't speak and they don't so react, back, react back very much. But who knows what's going on in their minds? I always like to think that somewhere deep in their mind they're watching everything, they're hearing everything, and they're listening to what's going on. And in their own way, they're enjoying life around them. So maybe that's another case for rather maybe more is better than less maybe when people's in late stages maybe they want to see more people around them maybe they want to see all the family maybe they know maybe they know how really poor they are and they want to see as many as they can i think i would i think i'd like that uh, when i got into late stages i think i'd like to see as many as i could because there's no doctor in this world could ever say what people are thinking when they get into late stages or what they're actually remembering in their own minds because there's no doctor in the world can tell you that. So I actually think it's a street it's a three stage thing at Christmas, I think. People in early stages that are quite adaptable and quite amenable and and like having people around and not too much noise, but maybe some like more noise than others. I've got loads of grandkids so I'm quite used to the noise. Um, but I think yeah, early stages I think it's great to remind people and to show them that there is a life, but like I do, I, I'm living with dementia. I'm certainly not dying from it, and uh, I'm enjoying life to the full as much as I can. Maybe a little bit further down the line, I'll need a little bit of reassurance and understanding, and certainly a lot more patience if I do ever start to forget who people are. And uh, um, then I just need that uh, love and that warmth and that friendship around me to show me that even though I may have forgot who was in the room with me, that I do actually, you know, they try to help me remember and try to remind me of all the good times and all the laughs we've had. So, and then, as I said, late stages, who knows? I, I would like lots of people. I would like lots of people around me and, and certainly no tears. I would like lots of people laughing, joking, telling jokes. I don't care how old they are. Uh, <laughs> and just basically having a good time because... It's great to celebrate somebody's life and not to and not to mourn anybody, but celebrate what they've done. Somebody once said, I can't quite remember who, is do not judge me what I've done in the past, but judge me what I have I am about to do in the future. And there's still a lot of things to do. 
So I think at Christmas time and New Year time, uh, just a little bit of understanding and a bit of remembering what, what, depending on what stage people are in, and with a dementia, would depend on how you react or you act around them or how you uh, how you include them. Include them always, always, always. But I think the the depth of inclusion would depend on, obviously, on how how poor people are. As for myself, at the moment I'm, I'm really enjoying life. I'm looking forward to Christmas. This year has been a, an incredible year with the Purple Angels and everything else that goes along with it, not just the ambassadors, but the things that we've achieved. And Every day we're posting news about it. other things where the Purple Angels landed or other people become dementia. Well, I've never known the whole of the UK be so meant or better be so much dementia aware as what they are now, but that's not to say we've got to sit in our laurels. Um, as you know, I won't let you do that. <laughs> and 2014 is going to be a huge year. I just know it's going to be a huge year. Uh, as I always say, onwards and upwards. But I think what's been achieved this year should never be forgotten. And how we've all come together as strangers, we're all strangers. Not just the ambassadors, but friends on Facebook, internet, Twitter as well. And we've all come together to fight this horrible disease and fighting it we are doing and fighting it we will do. And when we will, when we will, because even if we don't have a cure in the next 20 years, if we can drive the stigma away where people can sit and chat about it as though it's the common cold, then we have nearly won. The cure will come. The cure will come, and that I'm sure. So I suppose now I think it's just time for me to say um, a merry, very Merry Christmas to everybody who's listened to this. A Happy New Year. I will try to chill out over Christmas. I have every intention of doing. Um, but we'll be coming back in January 2014 and we'll be coming back with a thunder because we all have different ideas and we all know that this is how they're going to work. And please remember, it's not always about a logo. It's about how we come together and how we all join together to raise awareness and to drive the stigma away on this awful disease. If anybody would like to contact me, please do on www.tdaa.co.uk on my website. Or you can email me on norms, that's N-O-R-R-M-S at gmail.com. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, New Year wherever you are in the world. Love you loads, guys. Bye.